Hey guys, welcome back to another coding challenge video from HackRank. Today we'll be doing the insert a node at a specific position in a linked list problem. And we'll be doing this one in C Sharp. So in this problem, we'll be given a linked list and we'll be given some data and we'll be giving a position. And so they expect us to make a node with the data and then insert it into our linked list at the given or at the desired position. So that sounds pretty straightforward. There is one small tricky thing that might get you on this one, so we'll talk about that. Um, some things to note would be that the head can be null, like our other linked list problems, so we'll have to check for that. And then the other thing to really pay attention to is that the position is zero indexed. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else really worth mentioning. Um, our constraints, we'll take a look at those. So there's between one and a thousand things in the list and the data can be between one and a thousand and the position can be equal to zero meaning it comes before everything else in the list and it can be equal to n, meaning it goes at the end of the list. What they expect us to return at the end of this method is the new reference to the head, or it might be the same reference, I should just say, it expects the head of the list. However, that list was manipulated. Okay, so let's actually draw a picture about what's going on here and i think that will help us try and envision what we're going to be doing and then also kind of outlines the tricky bit so let me go ahead and just write a or draw a link to list so these are nodes random data the data doesn't matter it doesn't have to be in order and then these arrows are going to kind of stand for the next reference. And this one being the tail, the reference is null. So here's the tail, number two. And here's the head, which I'll label. Okay, and then they're going to be giving us, giving us some data, which we'll just say is three, and position which let's say is two. So position, remember that zero index. So the head would have an index of zero. This would have one and this would have two. And uh, yeah, so first things first is that we're going to be creating a node from this data. So I'll just put that out here somewhere and put a three in there. And then we want to insert that at position two. So here's position two. So after we insert this, we should have like five, one, three, then two. Two would then go to the um, third, or I guess fourth position. So how are we going to do this? Well, first we need, like our other link list problems, we need something to keep track of where we are in the list. And I'll just call this current node. And initially, it's going to be looking at the head because that's really the only thing that we're given. But using the next variable, we can kind of traverse our way through this list. And so we're going to want to do that until we get to the node right before where we want to insert at because we want we we need to modify the thing before it so that its next reference is the node that we created so with position two that means we want to keep advancing current node until we're at two minus one position or the one position so this will advance until it's looking at this so keep in mind, at this point, we only know about current node, which is looking at this one. We know about head, which is looking at this one. And we know about this guy, which let's just give this a name really quick. Call this node. 
So we know about node. Everything else, like this one right here, I guess, and if there was more, we cannot access that really unless we traverse down to it. That's important because let me show you. This is the tricky bit. When we go to insert this node, there's a specific order that we have to do this or else we could risk losing a reference to the rest of our node and potentially losing that in memory. So we need to modify this guy so that its next pointer is actually looking at this guy. So if we move this and say your next pointer is now looking at this, that's all fine. That needs to happen. However, this whole thing right here is now lost in memory because we no longer have any sort of reference to this two. So instead, what we need to do is we need to say that the node's next pointer is equal to the current node's next pointer. In other words, we need to make sure this guy next pointer is holding a reference to this node and also by doing so the rest of the list. I know we don't have anything else on here, but there could be more things on here. We don't know. So after we do that, then we can take this guy off because if, if you remember, we know about head, we know about current node and we know about node. So by knowing node and having set the next to this guy right here, we're holding on to our no, uh, the rest of our nodes and they're not going to get lost in memory. So then we can say this guy's next pointer equals the node that we made. So now our list is in the right order. It's no longer linear, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, hopefully that makes sense. We need to make sure to update nodes next reference before we change this one or else we'll lose the rest of our uh, list. Okay, so let's code this up. So first things first, we need to make, well, let's make that thing that we called node, which will be of type singly linked list node, which remember is not a native data type, it's something made up for this problem. So we'll set this equal to a new node and we'll give it the data that we were given. So that is done. The next thing we need is that we need a something to, to use to look at every single node which in our drawing we called current node. So we'll just use the same name and we'll set that initially equal to the head because that's where we want to start. The next thing we need to do is we need to advance. Um, we need to advance the current node until we get to the node that is right before the position that we want to insert node at. So because we know how many times we're going to be doing this, that's indicative of a for loop. So we'll just say for i is equal to zero and we'll go until position minus one. Because remember we want to go up until the thing right before we want to, uh, where we want to insert the node up and we'll say current node um, equals current node dot next. Okay. So there's one problem with this that uh, I overlooked, but head can be null. So we need to check for that before, because if we don't check for that before, then we will call dot next on a on null and that will break our code. So if head is equal to null, then we will just return node because we will have a list of one thing. So that's the easy, that's the case we gotta check for. So then we have this for loop which advances our current node up until the thing right before where we wanna insert node at. So now we have to change our references, but if you remember from the drawing, we have to do that in a very specific order. So before we can remove the reference on the current node, we have to say that the node next is equal to current node next. And therefore we hold on to that reference and we make sure it doesn't get chopped 
when we do the next line, which is saying that the current node next is equal to node. So let's look at our drawing and make sure we're understanding what's going on. So we're saying that the node next, which is this guy right here, is equal to current nodes next, which is this guy right here. And then we're saying the current nodes next is no longer pointing to here. It's going to point to this new guy. OK. After that, we're just going to return head. And that's it. Let's run it and make sure we didn't spell anything wrong or anything. Looks good. Match it up against all the test cases. Okay, that's it for this one. Hopefully all that made sense. If you have a better way or a better way of explaining any of this, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching.